And I think when I took that break and I had all those, I've been having all those migraines. Nice dress, isn't it? This is me 10 years ago at a family wedding. I was a size 10 and was athletic and active. Over the past few years, I have gained weight, become lazy, and feel unhealthy. Not to mention I can't fit into that dress. I am sick of it and I need to change my life. To keep me motivated, I am documenting my progress towards my final goal of fitting into my party dress. This is Project Party Dress. Hi everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Project Party Dress. And yes, this week is a full measurements update. Um, we'll get to that in a little bit, um, but I want to touch base on a couple of things, what's been going on. Um, if you watched uh, my last episode, you will know that I was having a bad week, I went up in weight, and I it really put a downer because since I started this, I haven't really gone up. So it really kind of hit me. I, I didn't realize until afterwards, like until like this week where I'm having a better week. Um, I'm also um, getting up a lot earlier since my job now, uh, right, well for right now, um, I have to get up, I have an earlier schedule, so that's throwing me off a little bit, but it is something that is kind of nice because I'm now home earlier in the day and I have more things to do, more time to get things done, um, you know, and hopefully go for a walk, but I haven't gone for a walk yet, mm. um, so that's not the greatest thing, but I want to get back into a schedule. Um, I want to get back into at least twice um, and hopefully maybe three times a week um, to go for a walk. Um, and I, I'm just, I need to get back out of this kind of standstill slash slum, not really a slum because I know what I'm doing wrong, I know it's something I need to get better, so it's not really a slum, it's more I'm just at a standstill and I haven't had um, a real breakthrough in my weight and everything like that. So this week is a new change um, to get back on track. It is summertime and it's nice outside, so there is no excuse to get outside, go for a walk um, and do stuff like that. So there's always those options and that's going to happen. Um, so let's get into my figures. <music> This week, I'm gonna do the same thing as I've been doing. I'm gonna do when I started, um, what I was last time I weighed or measured, and what I am now. So, uh, let's get right into it. So, when I started this, my weight was at 217 pounds, and last week I was at 198. Yes, that, that hit me hard, like I said but definitely we're, we're going down from here. Uh, usually you say up from here, but I wanna go down, down, down. So uh, with that, this week I am at 197. So I didn't go down those two pounds that I was hoping uh, due to um, you know, eating and uh, the time of the month. So the one pound still counts. So I will take it and I will move on with that. So. When I started this, my BMI was at 36.1. Last week I was at 32. Um, and now that I've gone down that one pound, I am now at 31.8. Um, now let's get into the rest of my measurements. So my neck, uh, when I started this, was 15 inches. And last time I was 14 and a half inches and I'm still 14 and a half inches. So I made that big jump from 15 from way at the beginning where I didn't go down at all and now I'm down that half inch. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so hopefully that's that's something that might change maybe down to you know just straight 14 maybe. <laughs> and then next is my bust. Um, now I'm just assuming at this point, when I started this, I didn't really calculate that. Um, but after my first time measurement, I was at 37 inches. Um, and I last time I measured, I was at 37 inches and I'm still at 37 inches. So it's not something that's changing for me. 
but hopefully down the road that will change. Um, and then my chest, I started this at 44 inches and then I went down to 38 uh, the last time I did my measurements and I'm still at 38. Um, I've gone, that's quite a drastic change. That's 30, so 44, um, so that's, that's a lot. And I, I think I did that big jump because I guess I was holding a lot of weight um, and inches kind of here. Um, so in like my chest area so that's pretty awesome but i still want to keep that going um getting it down further um so now with my waist i started this at 43 inches and last time i measured i was at 37 inches and i'm still at 37 inches um but that's because like I said, I, I'm still at a standstill and I'm, I'm starting to get back into things. Um, so those will keep going and keep changing. And last but not least are my hips. So when I started this, I was at 45 inches. And last time I measured, I was at 45 inches. And I'm still at 45 inches. So everything stayed the same except for my weight and BMI, of course. Um, so that gives me motivation to get back on track. No more excuses, nothing that's gonna hold me back. So hopefully the next time you see this, there will be a lot more changes. Things are going to get better. So that's how this is gonna go because I, I need to keep going. And I think when I took that break and I had all those, I've been having all those migraines and everything like that, that's what really got me. Um, so it kind of put a halt on my motivation, but now I'm back, um, more walks, more beautiful weather. The rain still isn't really changing. It's still there, of course. Um, but the, during the day it's a lot nicer. So, um, that's, what's going to happen. More walks. Uh, we're still eating relatively good. We have a few days here and there, which Everybody does. Everybody has days where they just have something that's not exactly the healthiest for them. But we always make a point to not have a lot of it, um, except for the couple of days when we had uh, family here. We did go out to eat a few times and I might have overate a little bit with that. But we're human and things happen and we like to eat. So that's something that I, I don't think it, it will stop because Every once in a while you want to have something that like you normally don't have that might not be the best for you so either way you are going to see changes i promise you there will be new things happening weight still going down at this point i'm not too sure if i will um, end up losing those 52 pounds in 52 weeks but i'm still going to keep going i'm not going to let that discourage me um, if say one week i lose a couple of pounds or or stuff like that. So I just have to keep going. And thank you guys so much for tuning in, sticking with us through all of this. And it's so nice to see lately we've been getting a lot of views, uh, new subscribers. So thank you guys so, so much for tuning in and watching us. Uh, that's all for now. Toodles!